Welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add kits to your Minecraft server. This is so in game you can do slash kit and then you can also create kits with slash create kit and all that stuff. I'm going to be going through every single step of that in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft. So you can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24 hour DDoS breakdown Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com, on them. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into getting Essentials X, which is what's needed in order to install and set up kits in Minecraft. Now, there are other plugins that do kits, but Essentials X is what I personally have experience with, and it's honestly just a very easy to use plugin for creating kits. In addition to that, Essentials allows you to do things like slash spawn, do slash set home, do slash home, do slash warps, all of that stuff. It is a very extensive plugin. It even allows you to do things like chat formatting and stuff like that. It really is an essential plugin for Minecraft servers, and I'm assuming you already have it. And if you don't, you can turn off pretty much all of those features except kits. But I'm going to use it for kits here today and would just recommend you do the same as well. So once you're here, you can download it from the download button here, as well as you know, you can go to their Jenkins to download builds of the server from like other versions and things, but it's actually all compatible with 1.8 through 1.14. Vault is also something that you will need here, right? You'll need to download Vault. It's also linked in the description down below. You can click on file here to find the uh, latest version for whatever you're wanting to uh, play. Basically, the most recent version here is 1.14 compatible, and then you can go all the way back to 1.8 there. Now, I've already got these installed and set up here on a server. This is just a paper 1.13.2 server, but this works in 1.14 as well. But uh, I just feel more comfortable running in a 1.13 environment. It's done the exact same way in a 1.14 environment. But nevertheless, here we are. You can see the plugins here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the server for the first time, generate all of the files. I wanted to do this on straight or on video here so you would know what you're kind of gonna be expecting whenever you are seeing these plugins generating here. All you're going to get is really the essentials file. Vault's not going to do much. It, I think it gives you a configuration file, but you don't need to ever touch it. Yeah, it does, but you never need to touch the vault configuration. Essentials, though, is going to give you all sorts of different configurations here. So if we go ahead and open up essentials, you will see everything in here, and you'll see kits kits.yml there. So if you go ahead and double click on that and open it with your preferred text editor, I personally use Atom, it's linked in the description down below, you'll be able to see all of the kits here. Now it gives you some information up here at the top as to how these kits can be formatted. It gives you things like uh, how to add enchantment levels and things of that nature, but we can actually see an example. So this kit right here has a delay of 10, meaning it can be gotten every 10 seconds. Then it also it has in it a stone sword, a stone shovel, a stone pickaxe, and stone axe. Now this one right here is uh, is a bit different, right? So this one has a pickaxe in it with efficiency one, durability one, fortune one, and then it does have a name, which is called the Giga Drill. And this is a diamond pickaxe there. There's a diamond shovel with the same thing, dig speed three on it, all that stuff. You can see all the enchantments here linked at uh, at this link there. You'll be able to get the enchantments. But nevertheless, that's basically the kits there. You can come in here and configure them, but you can also configure them in game. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Minecraft and uh, jump in game to show you how to configure these. Because again, I would recommend configuring them in game. There's really no reason to ever come in here and look at any of these in the .yml file. Because again, you can do it all in game. And when you can do everything in game, why wouldn't you just do everything in game? Right, I mean, really and truly. So let's go ahead and move that up here. And I'm gonna jump into multiplayer, direct connect to my local, wait, what was that? Play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have custom survival, custom skyblock. We have two survival servers, one with grief protected, slash shop-based economy survival. Basically, you can slash shop and can buy pretty much anything you want. And then we have one that is a player-based economy survival, medieval survival, and medieval survival has over 25 quests for you and your friends to enjoy. It is absolutely incredible. So come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com if you just want an incredible Minecraft server. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click direct connect, and then we can join right on into just my local IP address because I'm hosting this server locally here. Now, once we're in game, we can get kits very, very easily by doing slash kit. Now, the thing is, we don't have ops, so we're not going to be able to get any of these kits. Now, Essentials does have permissions associated with all of their kits, and all of the permissions with Essentials for kits is simply Essentials dot kits dot kit name so whatever the name of the kit is so this is the permission you would assign let's say if you wanted to give somebody the 
I don't know, tools kit there, you would do essential.kits.tools and that would be the permission you would give them for them to have that. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and opt myself. So if I opt my username there, boom, we can now do slash kit and we'll be able to see everything. So as you can see, we can do slash kits, like slash kit show, to be able to, uh, sorry, slash kit show and then the name. So slash kit tools there to be able to show what's in that kit. You can also do slash kits and hit enter to see all of the kits that are available there. And then you can even do like slash kit tools to be able to get that tools kit or slash kit stone, or not stone, sorry, slash kit D tools for all of those diamond tools with those enchantments we were looking at. Now, if you wanna create a, uh, like a basically kit, all we can do here is just add some stuff in. So we're gonna do this. This is gonna be like a building kit. I think that's what we'll name it. We'll call it the building kit. And we'll just add in a bunch of random stuff in here. And that'll be good. So now we can go ahead and do slash create kit, right? So slash create kit. And then you can name this whatever we're not. We're gonna name it builder. And then you can put in your delay. Now your delay is in seconds. So this is how many seconds in between able to redeem this kit. Now someone with op, right, like we have, can redeem it over and over and over again. But that's not usually the case. Usually, you're going to want to put a delay in there. So for example, if you wanted to do every 10 seconds, you would do 10 here. If you wanted to do every 100 seconds, you could do that. If you wanted to do a longer amount of time, like 60,000 seconds or a few days, you could do that. Whatever you want to do, go ahead and put those seconds in there and then hit enter. Now, as you can see, it says we have created the builder kit with nine entries and 60,000 second delay. Now, if we go ahead and clear our inventory real quick, we can do slash kit builder and boom, we have that popped in game there. We can run it again, slash kit builder, run it a few times. And then now we can see that that did fill our inventory up with that kit. Pretty simple stuff, very, very easy to do there. And that's how you can add kits to a Minecraft server. Now, if you wanna give a kit on first join, like a kit when a player first joins the server, you can do that with Essentials as well, as long as you have the Essentials spawn expansion added. So if we joined in here, we actually had slash kit tools already in inventory on our first join. So if we go back over here to our server, open up the Essentials config, and then that opens up here in our uh, text editor, and then we can search kit. Now, there are all sorts of different like places in here for kit. So I'm actually gonna do spawn because I know that it is around the spawn here. Okay, right here it is at the bottom. You can see that we have the kit. And basically what this is, is if you have the essential spawn, set up all new players that join in will get the kit listed here in this case tools you could do d tools if you wanted i think there's you know we could do kit builder if we wanted everyone to get that builder kit basically if you want players to have a new kit on first join this is where you can add it in and then it'll be available and they'll get it on the first join of the server so it's that simple that easy and that is how you can add kits to your minecraft server if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below and more specifically if you have any questions for other videos that you would like to see on how to do things on your minecraft server please let us know in the comment section down below we are always looking for new video ideas and if you do have any issues with essentials, we'll try our best to help you out. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy your new kits, and I am out. Peace.